Hi everyone, Ross Johnson here at One Cloud X. This video I'll be demonstrating next week for venue managers. Here at One Cloud X, we understand that effective financial and operational management is crucial for all venues, whether that's a sporting ground, conference centre, stadium, or other entertainment and hospitality venue. That's where NetSuite comes in, providing one unified system for your entire business with real-time visibility, eliminating data silos and disparate systems. Now, NetSuite is a true cloud system which provides a full suite of functionality through your financial and multi-subsidiary management to CRM, inventory, sales, procurement, project management and so on. Won't be able to demonstrate all of that in today's video, but of course um, I'll be given a taste of what NetSuite can provide your venue management organisation. You'll see here that I'm currently logged into a demo account of NetSuite and in the top right hand corner you can see that I'm currently logged in as the CFO. Now there's various different roles that come out of the box based on how over 38,000 customers use NetSuite. Now these roles define the permissions and restrictions of how users access the system but of course beyond these user roles that come out of the box you can create your custom roles to make sure that your users are only accessing the areas of NetSuite that they need. Coming to the dashboard itself, you'll see at the top we've got a global search which allows us to search through records and transactions in the system and that also supports prefixes. So in this case, we're filtering down to only look at a list of suppliers which include the word computer. Coming down a step further, you'll see that we've got a traditional menu structure providing access across the different areas of NetSuite. Given that we're in the CFO role, um, you'll see here that it's quite a broad range, but this will change based on the user role as well. The home dashboard itself also comes out of the box based on the user role, but it can of course be personalised by the end user by using this personalised tab here to select the sections that you want to see on your home dashboard. The sections once added to the home dashboard are in your complete control in terms of how you want those to be structured around the page. So you see here, for example, our reminders using that drag and drop functionality, we can change exactly how this is visualised on our screen. Now the reminders on the left hand side there, you'll see that they're given actionable insight across transactions that we need to approve, as well as given visibility in this case for the CFO of invoices that are over 30 days old, over $50,000 in value. So based on the information that you need to see, that can typically be brought onto the page in the form of a reminder to make sure that you've got that actionable insight as soon as you log into NetSuite. Coming to the middle, you'll see that we've got our KPIs and for the CFO, they are wide ranging across the business. So we've got a lot of key financial information there, as well as visibility of inventory and some CRM data here as well in terms of total pipeline deals. Now, all of these KPIs, all of the figures here are drawn from different reports within the system and these are drillable. So if we want to interrogate these figures further, then we can click through and drill down into the report itself, something that I'll come back to in a moment. Moment. Scrolling down here, you'll see that we have got our subsidiary navigator. So this is our full setup of the group structure that we've got within NetSuite. Now, once again, NetSuite provides that one unified system for all of the companies within your group structure. Now, with that, we're currently looking at the full group holding company. But if we wanted to filter down our full dashboard, we can simply click on the individual entities and you'll see that all of our figures, all of our KPIs update based on that one entity that we are wanting to review. Beyond that as well, the permissions and restrictions can be based on these entities. So if you want certain users to only be able to access the information from an individual venue or entity, then of course that can be done with the restrictions. Scrolling down here, you'll see some examples of um, trend graphs that we've got set up here. Now, once again, generally speaking, if the information's in NetSuite, then there's going to be a way for us to visualise this on our home dashboard. If we take our income by period trend graph here as an example, you'll see that we're also in complete control of the type of chart that we're looking at here. And beyond that, we can also take it out of the system. So if we want to take this data out to create any board packs, then we can have that full access to our data. 
Coming back up to our KPIs, as mentioned, these figures are drillable. So if we wanted to interrogate our expenses, for example, then you'll see here this opens up our P&L. And since we're in a browser, we can open that in a separate tab, allowing us to continue working away on our home dashboard whilst opening up the profit and loss here on a different tab. You see here that our profit and loss is pretty streamlined. Now, next week's leading practice is to keep the chart of accounts as streamlined as possible and then use classifications which are tagged on transactions to slice and dice that data. Now, these figures are, of course, drillable. So if we want to go down all the way into the transactional level of detail, then we can get there from a couple of clicks from our home dashboard. So in this case, we're clicking on the invoices that make up that total sales figure and our p &L. Now, as mentioned, the leading practice is used to, uh, to use classifications which are tagged on transactions to slice and dice your financial data. So if we go to the column tab here, you'll see that we can use different classifications, whether that's revenue streams or cost centres um, or different subsidiaries or events. You can have an unlimited number of custom segments to allow you to slice and dice that data in the way that you need to do it. So if we roll back this period, just look at the previous financial year as an example and click refresh. You see here that if we select our subsidiary as a column, we can see a side by side comparison of all of those entities that we've got as part of our group structure as a nice side by side PL here. We can, of course, take this data out of the system as well. So if we want to export to Excel, PDF, CSV or Word document, we can do so, as well as being able to print, email and schedule reports as well. Now, beyond using our subsidiary as a classification um, and beyond the period of the last fiscal year, if we just change this to, um, let's say, the fourth fiscal quarter of the last financial year and click refresh, if we use the different columns here, we can filter down this information. So class and this demo account I've got set up to look at our revenue streams here. So looking at a breakdown of our partnerships and sponsorships versus retail versus tickets. You see here as well that it also supports um, that hierarchy. So if we want to look at our over overall uh, value for our corporate broken down into partnerships and sponsorships, then we can do so. Just to give another example, we have got our departments here. So once again, if we refresh, we can look at that full cost centre analysis. So looking across our administration, maintenance, marketing, operations and sales, we can get a full p &L for those different departments or cost centres within our business. Now, once again, you can have an unlimited number of these custom segments, but just for one last example, if we refresh this on um, event, we can get that full breakdown of different events or projects that we are running. Once again, a full p &L, um, comparison across those different events. Now, beyond the key users that will be accessing NetSuite um, across the different roles that you see on the screen just now, NetSuite does also open up the system to various different users, depending on the level of access that they might need. Now, an example of that is the Lighter Access Employee Centre user, which is mainly used for tracking timesheets, entering and approving purchase orders, and entering and approving expense reports as well. So if you log into that Employee Centre role here, you'll see that it's a, a stripped back, streamlined version of NetSuite. And if we click on this purchase request here, we can see the type of functionality that this user can access. So in this case, they've entered in a purchase request for office stationery, and they can track the status of that through the different approvals. Now, NetSuite's approval matrix can be set up based on your own DOA. So regardless of whether that's a hierarchical or departmental or a combination of both, we can set up that hierarchy, that approval routing to make sure that those um, different transactions, in this case, purchase orders, are going through the correct level of approval. Now, of course, with that in mind, you do have full visibility of who has approved these transactions and when through NetSuite's system audit trail. So you can see here that this purchase request has been approved, and first of all, by Carol Morgan and then by Larry Nelson. And we've got a nice timestamp to make sure that we can track that information. Now, of course, once that purchase request has been approved, 
next week can then be used to email a copy of that PO um, to the supplier. And then once that item has been received, we can also record receipt of that in the system. Now, the last step from there would be for somebody in the AP team to enter in the supplier invoice, which can be done directly through this AP role. You see here, once again, we've got a dashboard which is fully configured to give visibility across all of the AP functions within your organisation. You see here on the reminders that we've got a nice purchase order to bill reminder. And if we click here, we can see the purchase order that we've run through as an example there. Now, the AP officer could then enter the invoice by clicking on this bill button here. And NetSuite has a full three-way match uh, functionality built into the system as well. So instead of the AP officer having to go and look at that original purchase order, as well as the item receipt to compare against the supplier invoice, NetSuite does that for you and would identify any tolerances um, outside of what you've set up and then route that supplier invoice for additional approval. Now, beyond that functionality as well, as mentioned, NetSuite's got a full suite across um, your payroll, CRM, inventory, sales and procurement, as well as project management. In terms of the project management functionality, this can be used for managing both customer facing as well as internal projects. So, for example, if you had a renovation and you wanted to track the costs and the tasks associated with that, then of course you could track that. Otherwise, if it's an external um, project which is customer facing, then you can track all of the project billing across that as well. Now, if we open up an example of a project within NetSuite, you see that it holds all of the key information across all of the um, scheduling. So first of all, the project tasks and setting them up with a start and end date through your resource allocation. So making sure that we are allocating the correct resources to these tasks and then on to your financial management as well. So in this case, if it's a client billable um, project, then tracking all of the charges which are associated with this project, whether that be through timesheets, so time spent by our resources, or through expenses, through purchases, you name it, that can all be tracked within NetSuite. Now, beyond that as well, we also do have a full work breakdown structure um, functionality for projects. So if you want to track those tasks across different estimated costs and estimated revenue, and then compare that to the actual cost and revenue at the end of the project, project or throughout the project, then of course you can have that functionality within NetSuite as well. Now, of course, this has just been a taste of the functionality that NetSuite provides. So if you've got any questions or anything that you'd want to see further, or if you would like us to set up a demonstration of NetSuite to show you how that would work for your specific venue management organisation, then please get in touch with us here at OneCloudX and we'd be more than happy to organise a more in-depth demo. Thank you.